So let's kind of go over a few of these uh, interesting trivia Thanksgiving facts. <sighs> what town canceled Thanksgiving because they couldn't make pumpkin pies? The answer is Colchester, Connecticut. A frigid bout of cold weather in the middle of the October led Connecticut River freezing, so settlers couldn't get their usual liquid sugar shipped on time from across the pond. Thus, the townspeople decided to postpone the holiday for a week in 1705. It was a legendary rose mill powered. Wait, what? It was so legendary, Rose Mill Powers actually wrote a poem about it in July 1908 issue of good housekeeping uh what <laughs> what city is the oldest or has the oldest thanksgiving parade philadelphia the philadelphia brothers department store parade in 1920 had only 50 people 15 cars and a fireman dressed up as santa claus the parade ended with santa on a sled signifying the arrival of the holiday season Today, it's much bigger and called the 6 ABC Dunkin' Donuts Thanksgiving Day Parade. Instead, it was the inspiration behind the Macy's Day Parade, which started in 1924. What did President Calvin Coolidge famously receive as a Thanksgiving gift? It was a live raccoon. In 1926, Vanny, Vinny Joyce uh, uh, Vanita Yima, Mississippi, sent the 30th president of the United States, a live raccoon, to be served as Thanksgiving dinner. However, the president became so smitten with the furry animal that he pardoned it and adapt adopted it as his pet. He named it Rebecca. <laughs> some of the shit some of the presidents have done. The Thanksgiving turkey pardon doesn't totally make sense either. Just eat it. It's fine. <laughs> there's there's only one area in Australia that celebrates Thanksgiving, and that is Norfolk Island. The tradition started when American whaling ships would make frequent stops on the island during the 1800s. The tiny territory, home to fewer than 2,000 inhabitants, typically celebrates the American holiday with a meal that combines classic Thanksgiving foods like pumpkin pie and cornbread blends with Nor. Norfolk Island cuisine may also celebrate by attending church services. How long was the first Thanksgiving? Hunker down for a bit of rich history of Thanksgiving. Today, Thanksgiving takes place over one dedicated day. Maybe two if you count Black Friday history, but original pilgrims really went all out. In November 1621, the settlers first corn harvest provided so wait, oh, sorry. Corn harvest proved so successful that Governor William Bradford reportedly invited the Plymouth colonists, Native American allies, to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Members of the... Oh, man, this has been a long time. I remember part of this in elementary school. Uh, Wampanoag tribe? Wamp, 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 yeah, Wampanoag tribe came bearing food to share. They had so much bounty that revelers decided to extend the affair. They didn't say how long they extended it, but okay. <laughs> what food did the colonists and Native Americans not have at Thanksgiving? I'm guessing mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, pumpkin pie, um, hmm, I guess that, that, that's probably it. Let, let's see. Oh, they didn't have turkey. I didn't see that one coming. Well, most of us enjoyed turkey as the centerpiece of our table. No one can say for sure whether it even was on the menu back in 1621. However, the original guests did indulge in their in other foods like lobster, seal, and swan. The Wanapog also reportedly brought five deer to the celebration. If you also enjoy venison at your table, consider yourself perfectly aligned with long-standing tradition. I'll take that, and that makes makes a lot of sense. President. Oh, what president refused to declare Thanksgiving a holiday? The answer being Thomas Jefferson. Presidents originally had to declare Thanksgiving a holiday every year. 
up until Lincoln made it a national holiday during his tenure. However, Jefferson refused to recognize this event because he believed so firmly in the separation of church and state since Thanksgiving involved prayer and reflection. He thought designating a national holiday would violate the First Amendment. He also thought it was better suited as a state holiday, not a federal one. I guess that kind of makes sense to to an extent. Kind of wish we had more federal holidays, you know, just a little more vacation time. That'd be all right. I would not complain. and I don't think many would. A Thanksgiving turkey mix-up inspired what popular meal trend? Answer being frozen TV dinners. In 1953, a Swanson employee accidentally ordered a colossal shipment of Thanksgiving turkeys, 260 tons to be exact. To deal with excess, salesman Gary Thomas took inspiration from the prepared food served on airplanes. He came up with the idea of filling 5,000 aluminum trays with turkey along with cornbread, cornbread dressing, gravy, peas, and sweet potatoes to complete the offerings. 98 cent meals were a hit, especially with kids and increasingly busy households. That guy just became a billionaire. Ooh, this one's pretty interesting. How many turkeys do Americans prepare each Thanksgiving? Answer being 46 million. I honestly would have thought it would have been a little higher, but I mean... I guess everybody doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, depending on cultural heritage. And then not only that, possibly vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian. Yeah, meh. Kind of makes sense. And you could always make something else. Thanksgiving without turkey would be like Christmas without a tree. And most American fa- families wouldn't dream of foregoing the almighty bird. While not su- super popular the rest of the year, turkey is a huge hit for holidays. Possibly because it can serve large family gatherings. On Christmas, an additional 22 million families host an encore with their Thanksgiving turkey recipes. What percentage of Americans actually eat turkey on Thanksgiving? Okay, my last statement might have been wrong when you think about it. I mean, 46 million turkeys, depending on how big a turkey is, I'll feed quite a lot of people. So, mm, I, 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 yeah, what, what was I doing in my head? For some reason, I guess I thought... You needed a turkey per person, and that's not... I'm stupid. (laughs) Because the answer here is 88%. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I need to go back to school. Oh, God. If your family goes in the different direction of the big day, you're not alone. According to National Turkey Foundation, 88% chow down on Thanksgiving turkeys. The rest may be vegetarian or vegan, or just taking a stand against a protein that, let's face it, doesn't show up much the rest of the year for a reason. What are you trying to say about turkey? I love turkey. 